Hi, my name is Lucy Hernandez, and this time I will talk about the adaptive approach. First of all, I want to start by saying that this approach starts by a general idea to a specific one. In other words, when we teach our students something new, we start by giving them a global understanding in certain topic and then handle them into a specific point by doing a series of previously designed strategies in order to make them better analyzers and then help them to comprehend the purpose of the, of the theme we want to talk about. I also want to share that for me are the three main principles of this approach. The first states that this approach teaches grammar in a traditional way, which is true because students are only taking notes, doing what the teacher says, move here, right there, look this, listen that. So this is how to work in a traditional way. Another principle states that this be becomes um, mechanical because the students are only writing and not doing something else. Only what is previously planned. And um, the other is that for me besides to be a principal is an advantage because with this we can help our students to clear up the dots because well in time because when they have some doubts about the, the grammatical tenses for example we can help them like in a particular form going with them and clearing up the dots some activities we can do using this deductive approach are the rule explanation. So we, we all the time start by saying the rules of, the, of, of any grammatical tense. So use this, write this, the main, the, sorry, the verb here in this form and those things. Other activity is the translation. When we have a uh, no native learners, they tend to translate what they are writing or reading, and then this can confuse them. So this takes to another activity, which is doing worksheets. We all do do this. When we teach something, we give our students worksheets to understand, which is good because it, it provides us about what the students understand or not. But we can allow this by doing something different and less boring. And then this approach also support students to have a self-study in grammar because they are repeating and doing what teacher is doing and what the other classmates are doing too. So students can create their own learning style in grammar. So I think we can use this approach only when we start a new theme or when we work with grammatical tenses in English. Hello, Rocio, and hello, Inate. And I'm going to talk to you about the deductive approach, which is the opposite to the inductive approach because the deductive approach starts by giving them students all the rules they need, the, all the rules they need to follow to produce language. And then 
we can give them the examples, but in the same order. Uh, students are told about the process. First of all, uh, it is a top-down approach because uh, it moves from the more general to the more specific, and it is also more teacher-centered, which can be a disadvantage because this means that we as teachers need to talk a lot, and this could be tiring at the end of the class. But in my opinion, uh, this approach has more advantages than disadvantages. Uh, for example, it is more time saving because if our students have doubts, we can go straight to the point and explain them faster what they want to know. Uh, and the time save, uh, the time save, we can use it to to practice more the language and give them more activities uh, about the topic we are introducing. And on the other hand, uh, I think this approach is more suitable for students or of lower levels. Uh, the inductive approach can be more used with students of advanced levels because in the advanced level they are more used to thinking. And the deductive approach is more focused students who are just starting to learn another language. So in my opinion both of them are good but it is a matter of knowing how to combine them uh, and get the best from each, each approach. So we can use them both in the same class but we can get the best ideas uh, of each one no matter what the level or of student is. And that's all what I have to say about the two approaches. And